Kim, what is our first main topic today? All right, guys, this comes from Mitchell A. Hey, John, Taika Waititi's film Next Goal Wins has been completed for a while, but has remained unreleased. Many theorize that it was due to the now controversial involvement of Army Hammer. Well, now Deadline reports that his scenes have already been reshot with Will Arnett in his place. Could we now see this in the near future, perhaps on Hulu, seeing as searchlight pictures are behind it? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And yeah, I filed this one under not really surprised. Yeah. So look, obviously with all the, the drama surrounding Army Hammer, and we won't go into all that again, but there's it caused a lot of delays with Death on the Nile, which ultimately Disney decided after long delays and delays and not really being able to figure out any viable option to go otherwise, they decide they're going to release it. Comes out in February. It's still a Kenneth Branagh movie, so I'm interested in seeing it. And I, I don't know what they're going to do. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm surprised they're, they're releasing it. I really thought they might hide it for another year and then just kind of drop it on Hulu or something. But they spent too much money on it. They need to get some kind of return on it. They're going ahead and doing it. It looks good. It, I mean, I think it looks good. I, I mean, I hope it's good. Then we have had Taika Waititi's next goal wins, which is, looks really exciting to me. I, I'm ex excited to see it. But it was facing the same problem. Army Hammer's in it. What are they going to do about it? Well, apparently now we know they've gone ahead and they've gotten Will Arnett. This comes to us from the folks uh, over at the Variety who write the following. Will Arnett will replace Army Hammer in Taika Waititi's next goal wins. Hammer's exit comes after the actor was accused by multiple women of sexual assault. He denies the claims and says any sexual relationships were consensual. But the Los Angeles P Police Department has lost, launched an investigation. In the wake of the scandal, Hammer was fired from several films and series, including the Jennifer Lopez rom-com Shotgun Wedding and a Paramount Plus show uh, about the behind-the-scenes action on The Godfather. Hammer also exited the upcoming Broadway production of The Minutes. Uh, he will appear in the Agatha Christie adaptation Death on the Nile, which opens in February. This, to me, is really quite interesting because one of the things that death on the Nile decided they couldn't do was we, it's going to cost us too much to go back and reshoot everything. We can't just take him out of the movie. It's not possible because not only is it going to cost us way too much money. We also have to get all those other actors whose schedules are full to now figure out a time that they can all come back and be on this thing. It's just not something that's plausible. So then the same thing comes up here and I guess they thought, well, we have to now the official line that they're giving on this is that, well, it was time for reshoots and Army wasn't available to do the reshoots. So we brought in Will Arnett to reshoot everything. Really? Because Army has got a lot going on in his dance card right now. <laughs> really? So clearly they just wanted to replace him entirely. I'm curious about this because Will Arnett, I adore Will Arnett. But he's not like Oscar caliber actor. I only kind of picture him in certain things. My God, his him as the voice of Batman is one of the greatest things that's worth getting out of bed for. Him doing the voice of Batman is absolutely fantastic. No, no so it's it's a really interesting thing. Rob, you know, you hear about this. After Death on the Nile decided not to reshoot army scenes, which would have been very, very difficult, Taika Waititi decides they are going to reshoot all those scenes, put in Will Arnett. It does give them more flexibility with how they may want to release it, like all that kind of stuff. But I don't know, were you surprised to hear about this? What do you think? I wasn't surprised. I mean, after after Ridley Scott did it and all the money in the world and got rid of Kevin Spacey, right? Uh, I thought that was an impossibility, but he did it. And I think this film is a much smaller film in terms of its budget. It's not a huge budget film, and I I think it was probably you know it's it's easier than people might think. Like you pointed out in Death on the Nile, there's a wedding involved. They're on a ship. At, at, in a river on the Nile, there's all these actors. It's a big ensemble cast. I'll bet you, because I, I believe it's a comedy, isn't it? It's comedy about- I think it's comedy, drama, comedy, historical. It's based on a documentary. Right, It's but yes. And I think there's probably, it was just probably an easier thing to do, inserting him into scenes and, you know, especially if there's lots of close-ups and things like that. But it's, it is kind of odd. I mean, knowing that, that Hollywood studios can do that, it it does kind of smack of weird erasing history in a way. But I understand why it was done. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it, too, because at the end of the day, you've invested hundreds of millions of dollars into a project. 
And if you think there's something, regardless of what it is, if you think there's something in your project that is going to hurt the the financial marketplace profitability of your product, you're going to want to probably go in and make changes if you can. Kim, were you surprised by this? And what do you think about it being Will Arnett taking over the roles? I, I don't know. What do you think about that? I'm not surprised at all. Not at all. It feels like it was necessary. It's it's highly unfortunate. However, I just love Will Arnett. And you know what? How many of us looked at uh, Jim Carrey and said, drama, really? And he yeah. blew us away, you know? And, and for, I mean, now there's there's a whole catalog of work. But in the beginning for Tom Hanks, how many of us looked at him and said, drama really you're gonna make me cry oh no no everybody looked at tom and hanks is like aren't you that guy from bosom from buddies bosom of course buddies. and now we're like oh, i cry before he even does anything i'm like i don't know why but i'm emotional and it's just a poster so you know what if will arnett if this is an opportunity for him to just level up in his career i don't again taika with tt it's probably a comedy there's probably a lot of comedy elements to it but um the cat i think it's was it michael fassbender elizabeth moss it's it's got a great it's got cast. a very good cast and yeah. so i'm happy for him that he had this opportunity uh it's really unfortunate for um army hammer but you know and, and but this really speaks to the culture of you are not irreplaceable i don't care how big you think you are Right. If you behave, however, I'm not going to get into the allegations, but I think on a certain level, certain celebrities or when you're on a certain level in life, you start to think you're invincible. And sometimes that's why some of these people did what they did, because they thought no one can touch them. And I think it sends a message that it should that you're not untouchable. You are replaceable. And this is how we're doing it. Plus, you know, period. Like Jason Sudeikis in uh, Ted Lasso. Oh, you know, there's oh, an opportunity yeah. for an actor. I, I guess why do I think Jason Sudeikis and Will Arnett are kind of the same? Maybe not, but in my mind, they kind of are. And like you just pointed out, to have Will Arnett level up, that's a great way to put it. Who knows what we're going to get? We might get something pretty special. And, and especially being under the, 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 I guess you could say, the directing hand of a director like Taika Waititi. Right. I mean, that could be really quite interesting. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? That Will Arnett has replaced and they've reshot the scene, Army Hammer scenes in Next Goal Wins. Are you surprised that it's actually Will Arnett? I would have thought maybe it was somebody else, but I do love the dude. I'm looking seeing forward to what he does. Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.